Hey guys, Rob Shuker for Three Storm Fitness. Uh, today I want to do like a little infomercial. It's gonna look like that anyway. A little Billy uh crap, what's his name? Zane? Dang it. Now yeah, rest in peace, whoever you are, buddy. Um this is damp rid, damp rid high, high capacity uh, moisture absorber. And I got two of these in here. This is about a 700 square foot uh, pull barn. And it's out in my backyard down, down the road or down the, uh, the hill. And it gets, we had about a month where it just rained every day and it was miserable here in uh, Southern Ohio. And it was just, it was so nasty. Everything in here in the gym was sweating. And I was worried about corrosion. I was, I actually had somebody one day slip on the, on the floor mats because it was so slick. They just kind of, it was like a quick little, but it was enough to freak me out. And um, I could have been a lot worse. And I just, the, what I was doing for moisture control beforehand was this, I got this Honeywell unit that has like, it's like a hybrid unit that does heating and cooling. And I'll be honest with you, now at Honeywell's defense, in Honeywell's defense, I'm using a much bigger space than it's rated for. So, but the unit kind of sucks in terms of dehumidifier function. It works pretty well, but they give you like this tub that's like this freaking big and you have to drain it. It's, it's, the reservoir is not, it's not good for high, high capacity, uh, heavy duty dehumidifying. That's what I needed. Uh, so, and I was sick of emptying that thing every 40 minutes, literally every 40 minutes I had to empty the, the reservoir. It was just, this is a pain. It's crap in my style. I was spilling it all over the place. So I got these damp rids. High capacity. I got two of them for this spot. Like I said, 700 square feet. Two of them. They can work in your basement, your attic, whatever. They work really well. Like I was very surprised. They kind of smell nice. I mean, they have a noticeable smell to them. Um, some people might think they're kind of, might not like the smell. It's kind of like a flowery. If you don't like the smell, when you first put them in, you smell it. If you don't like this, most people would like it. Like a lot of my clients are like, oh, it smells, what'd you do, clean in here? And I'm like, yeah, well, I do clean in here regularly for the record, but uh, no, I got these containers. And, but if you don't like the smell, it will go away in a couple days. Um, so, unless you put your face right into it, which I just did, and I still smell it. Okay, so all it really does is you just sit and forget. It soaks in the moisture. It does not work as well as a dehumidifier, a good dehumidifier. I, well, it, it's about the same. I guess you, if you have both, use both. But I was shocked at how well this worked by just putting it down in the corner. I mean, within a couple hours, I came back down to the gym and the floors weren't slick anymore. And like I said, this is like the ultimate testing ground because it's just, everything's just sweats and drips and it's nasty in here. When I have these in here, unless it's just a brutally humid, uh, like it's been raining and that and, and people are in here sweating and so that you just you can just feel the thickness in here. Unless it's just an absolute miserable day, you get a little bit of sweat still, even if I'm not running the dehumidifier. But these things are fantastic. Like they really do work quite well. I highly recommend them. I think they're like 30 bucks a piece, which is I think that's how much they were. It's kind of expensive. Maybe it was 30 bucks for the pair. Even if it's 30 bucks a piece, I've had them for, uh, what, three or four months now. I may start, I may change it. You get this little, they say six months, last up to six months on here. And I believe it. Like I said, this is kind of a, I'm putting it through the ringer here. This thing's getting a little heavy. You don't actually have water in there. You have like this, I don't know, some sort of proprietary blend of moisture absorption. And it soaks it all in. Um... It's like four or five pounds right now. Uh, but you get it up when, when the black part is up to this line here. And you, you can, probably can't see it, but it's almost up to the line right now. It's time to switch. So I'll probably get a couple new ones. But I'm just going to, this is going to be my new humidity uh, solution. Uh, I like things I don't have to worry about. I just put them in the corner and get on with my life. Dehumidifier, I may get another one later. But this is, this is working well for me. I can, I can float the 30 bucks every six months. You know, it's just like something to put in the operating budget. So any gym owners out there or anybody, not, maybe you don't work out, you just happen to be watching this. If you got a spot in your house that's humid, I would try this first. They make different sizes, but this is one that 
Let's see if it says here what it's actually rated for. I want to say they said like one of these every 300, 500 square feet. Um, I don't see it on here. But like I said, two, yeah, basements, crawl spaces, garages, small cabins, boats, RV campers for one of these things. So two, two and a 700 square foot superhuman place is good. I'm repeating myself as always. Buy them, try them out, they get my endorsement. Um, thank you very much. Rob Shoecraft, Three Store Fitness. If you got any questions about gym equipment, exercises, uh, pants that don't rip, I'm your man. Let me know. Have a great day. Subscribe. Bye-bye.